What is happening guys? Brody here. If you checked out the last video, I actually went ahead and created the template for my splitter. Um, I'm pretty sure I have all that complete. Um, so the next step now is going to be cutting out our template into the actual material. Um, I went ahead and bought uh, 3 8 ABS plastic. So that is what we're going to use to make the splitter. So I'll show you the template that I finished with. If you haven't checked out the first video, definitely go watch that. I go over how I created the template. I ended up going with 3 8 plastic and I chose a bit of a thicker plastic as I wanted something that was gonna be a lot stronger and a lot more functional. A lot of splitters out there, they're pretty thin and with that they'll flex a ton and often they're screwed into the bumper but this one I wanna actually mount it to the frame of the car so I really wanna have a functional chassis mounted splitter. But I went ahead and bought a four by eight sheet of this plastic. Just came over to my parents because I'm gonna have my dad give me a hand um, cutting this out. But uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and also show you the finished templates that I made. Take the templates out of the truck. So we're gonna bring this on into the garage. And still a couple squares from my dad, so. Brought this bag over in case we need it. So, as you can see, this was the obviously the portion of the splitter that's gonna go underneath the car. And these were the two different kind of lip designs that I made. Um, they're a little bit different, not much, but a little bit. But this is the one that we're gonna stick with. So as you can see, it just kind of lines up here. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of the design we're gonna go with. Like I said, I am actually gonna end up rounding this off a bit more, I'll probably taper it in something like that so i'll show you guys when i do that like i said i am mounting this whole thing so i'll have mounting brackets basically around here and that's where i'll actually mount to the frame of the car i don't know if we'll get that far today probably not first i'm just gonna figure out the design i want with the edge of the splitter i'm probably gonna end up tapering it in a little bit here i don't want it such a corner I'm ahead and trimmed up the corner a little bit on this as you can see there was more of a point so I rounded this out on both sides just tape this down on top of the plastic and just trace the outside of this and then that will be our starting point for what we're going to cut from there I'll end up after I get this actually cut out I'll end up sanding off the edges and then I'm also going to break out the router so I can kind of give the corners a little more of a bevel. Also, like I was saying, since I'm going with a 3 8 thickness of plastic, um, when you bevel the corner a little bit, it'll also um, make it look a little bit thinner on the end. So that'll look pretty good, I think. Do that instead. Yeah. Well, you can leave, leave a few on. Well, I, I'll just kind of peel it up as I trace it. Yeah. See, yeah. I'll have to fix that when I sand it though. Right. Like you're not gonna get a perfect edge. It's cardboard too, so like what can you do? I feel like when you sand it out, um, that's when you can kind of perfect the, the curve of it. All right, so everything's traced out. So we'll pop our template off. Okay. Well, you should mark the bolt holes too. I can do it after too. Yeah. Just line up the back edge again, right? Mm -hmm. Come over here, bud. Come over here. Put that over there. Okay. Come over here. Lay down. Lay okay. Down. Come here. This is so sketchy. I always hate cutting straight lines. The plastic sometimes gets in the way where you can't see your line. Yeah.
Okay. Okay. Is that one? Yep, looks good. So now you can start this in. So you can slide this material down, or if it's not wigging around too much on you, you could just. I'm, I'm good here. Yeah, yeah. Well, you just want to keep it stable, right? So it doesn't start flopping around the material. Right. Might as well do a really nice cut. Because mm -hmm. that way, so you can sand it down. Mm -hmm. look Actually, all good. that's pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the entire splitter cut out as you can see and so the reason why I actually have it coming back here a little bit um, there's a couple mounting points where I can actually um, bolt this to the underside of the car um, I'm actually using pre-existing bolts that were used on the under tray I think the next step now, since we got everything cut out, is I am going to get either like a, probably like a palm sander, and then that'll let me just sand out all the edges, make sure everything is nice and uniform and it's got a nice curve. And once I am happy with the curve on it, then we will use a router and that'll allow me to basically just bevel the edges, um, both the top and bottom, so it'll give it a nice kind of round look instead of right now how it's centered you can see that but it's totally square so we'll round off the top and bottom of the splitter it'll also make it look a little thinner went and got the palm sander uh got the sandpaper mounted on it so now we're going to give this a shot obviously with the jigsaw i tried to cut it as close to the line as possible but um it's not absolutely perfect so that is what that is going to be for as you can see, I don't know if you can actually tell, but there you go. You can kind of see that there. So try and fix the front edge a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm kind of running out of time for today. I think this is where I'm going to call it. I got most of the edges all sanded out. Um, there's a couple little waves that I wanna still get ironed out. Um, so I'll get the, the palm sander going or maybe a file going and try and get those out uh, the next day I start working on this. Yeah, pretty happy with it overall. Like I said, a little more, a little more that I have to do. I definitely wanna take my time and do this well. But anyways, that is all that I got done for today. So I'll probably keep it in the same video. Uh, and I'll just pick up on this either tomorrow or the next day and uh, probably get the rest of the sanding done. And then after that, we'll start looking at the mounting points. What is happening guys? All right, so today is Friday and this weekend, my goal is to try and finish this front splitter. From what you guys saw last, I ended up getting the whole Thing obviously cut out and sanded up and just so you guys can also kind of see everything got cut out and then I've obviously sanded down all the edges and got them nice and consistent nice and smooth tried to get any waves or bumps out of the front lip and I think I did a pretty good job of that I think I've pretty much got it as perfect as it'll get um, now the next step is I do still need to router the edges however at this point in time that's not really necessary the router part is actually pretty simple so um, the more work kind of lies within figuring out how we want to mount this to the car. So today my dad and I are going to get the car up in the air and start trying to figure out how I want to mount this thing. Like I said before in this kind of series, um, 
I do not want to mount the splitter at all to the front bumper. That is definitely a weak point. I want this to be like a full chassis mounted splitter. So uh, that's what we got to figure out tonight. And then whatever we don't accomplish tonight, I'm just going to carry forward and finish it tomorrow. So that's kind of the plan for today. Last night didn't get a whole lot done. Um, in the back of the splitter, I'm using the two bolt holes and bolts that were previously used um, from the under tray. So those are the two bolts that will be securing the back of the splitter. And we have just the jack holding up the front of the splitter. We went out and bought some hardware. So we ended up getting a bunch of aluminum brackets and that's what we're going to use to essentially mount the splitter to the frame of the car. Went out and got a bunch of brand new bolts and nuts and all that stuff we'll need, some washers. And I'll show you exactly how we're gonna mount it. Right now we're just kind of getting dimensions and figuring out where we're going to bolt these things up to the splitter. Um, I'll show you underneath. Those are the two bolts that is mounting uh, the splitter to the back portion of the car. Those are the only two mounting points we have at the moment. In the front section of the splitter, we just have the jack holding the splitter up, as well as a couple jack stands. We're taking our aluminum brackets, uh, and basically we've already figured out where we're gonna mount it to the frame. Now it's just getting all the brackets cut. So the brackets are now starting to take place. We got uh, essentially um, one angle bracket running down the side, on each side and then we got a four foot angle bracket running along the front and then as you can see we got two angle brackets just going down from the side uh, one connecting this front bracket and obviously the exact same thing just on the other side so now what we did is we got everything bolted down tight so it's in the exact place it needs to be I went ahead and marked all my holes that we need to drill into the splitter so now we'll just pop the splitter off drill those holes and then we can get this thing mounted up and the last bit we have is i think we're going to try and figure out a couple more brackets just to mount to the very sides of the splitter just to support the ends uh, i think they might be a little weak at that point sick eh yeah yeah Yes, Brody, sick. <laughs> okay. Is this, is this heavy, hey? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> is it that bad? What? Heavy? Yeah. Is it? No. Okay, so now we obviously got the splitter off. These, I've basically just got, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but Sharpie dots everywhere, and those are the holes that I need to drill up now. Should I be... Yeah. Okay, first I need to like get a little punch in the center of the dot. That just makes it so your drill bit doesn't slide everywhere on you. So, punch a little mark into there so it stays centered when you start drilling. Oh god. Damn. Overhead view. I think that should be good. Sweet. It's gonna be loud. <laughs> but yeah, that'll just give us a mark so the drill bit stays centered. <laughs> <laughs> nice close ups. Okay, they're started now. Okay. I'm gonna raise it? Yeah, I would jack it up. Yeah. 
Just push it back a smidge. Okay, that's good. Okay, Alex, let's start. Okay, we're a little off here. Here we go. Okay, let's get a couple in here, Alex. Or they'll come from here? Yeah. So put a washer, flat washer on the bottom. And then on top, we'll need a flat washer and the nut. So these are going up. Yeah. What is up, guys? Okay, so officially, I'm so close to being done. Uh, not 100% there, but I can actually say I can drive my car now, which is sweet. So the splitter is completely mounted. Um, everything's bolted up. Everything's secure. All I have left to do is... I still need to just put a couple splitter rods into the front. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about right now. The splitter rods will help a lot when it comes to like highway speeds, just cause that's when you'll actually be seeing quite a bit of downforce. Uh, and the splitter rod or the, the splitter might actually start to dip a little bit. So that is where the splitter rods will come in handy and it'll overall just add a lot more support to it all. Yeah, other than that, I mean, everything else is completely done. The, the frame and mounting worked perfectly. Uh, it's really strong, really sturdy, so I'll show you guys exactly what I did. As I showed you guys before, we obviously have the four foot angle bracket running across the front, and that is all bolted down to the splitter. And then we have a few beams on either side, uh, basically going from the angle bracket along the splitter up to the frame of the car. And then what we added last was an additional um, side uh, mount. It goes from the splitter up to the frame here and all that is for is just to try and help support the very sides of the splitter um, before adding this you can move the splitter here quite a bit it was pretty flexible and now it stiffened it up quite a bit so a lot lot better and obviously the same exact thing on this side you can see it a little better there but now all that's left, left now is to put the front bumper back on and then we'll be able to go test this thing out. Oh, and also I need to put the couple splitter rods just to help hold the front end up. But I'm going to order those online right away and then, yeah, we'll go from there. Is gonna make it, bro. Now? No. no. Oh, maybe. It'll just flex it maybe a little bit. Yeah. What's up guys? So I completely forgot to film an outro for this video. Um, if you're following my channel already, you will actually know that I filmed this video quite a while ago because part one I actually posted like in the fall or something of last year. So it's definitely been quite a while since I have posted, um, but I finally got this video edited, finally got it posted, so that is definitely a good thing. Um, I do want to get back into posting more videos, um, especially now that we're coming around to spring. I'm definitely feeling a little more motivated. Splitter definitely could not have turned out better. Um, since actually making it, it has been great. Um, I've had zero problems whatsoever with it. I still do have a couple things left that I have to finish on it. Um, I still need to install those splitter rods. 
and as well I need to uh, router the edges still. So still a couple things I have left. If you guys at home are trying to do something similar on your car, um, by all means, if you have any questions, definitely hit me up in the comments below. I have a lot of plans for the car, a lot of things happening, so definitely stay tuned for those videos to come. If you have not already, definitely subscribe so you'll be notified of when I post future videos. As well, you can also go follow me on my Instagram. I'll have that in the description below. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up. That's always appreciated. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy.